Growing up, we've always had die cast models on the shelves and my brother and I would always just have them to look at, but I always wished and waited for the day that I would be sitting in my own one day. And the day has come. <laughs> I just figured, why not? As morbid as this sounds, I didn't want to die before I was able to make it happen. Why pal? Because I fell in love with her at first sight. I love that she looked Italian, but she was actually Japanese. It felt really relatable considering I grew up fake Italian from Jersey. I felt like Pau and I kind of had that in common. I was in Italy last summer. I saw her on the road. Never seen a car like her before. Right there and then I kind of figured out how to get one myself. So she had to be mine. I guess that more of a play on why this was my spontaneous purchase of Pau was the fact that I was in Italy and my dad had always wanted to go to Italy, it was actually the summer after I lost my dad and he always wanted to get his own classic. He never was able to. So I thought it would have been great to get this one. I think it's an extension of me because it's like pine size, but it comes with a big punch. I've been told I'm standoffish or intimidating, which I don't understand because I'm literally five nothing, but, and Pau's like pint size. And she's also really fucking silly looking. And I feel like once you get to know me, I'm also really silly. I'm like a living cartoon character. Well, what makes me happy that everyone just looks at her and they're automatically happy. Like, what is that? And even like the toughest of looking of people, it's so fun to see them just like with the warmest smile when they see my car. I'm able to just get along with like anyone. I've talked to crackheads and they were just like, yeah. Speaking of crackheads, at Dunkin' Donuts, the guy was like, you gotta get that shit fixed. That's on the wrong side. I was like, sir, I am on the right side actually. <laughs> I've always felt like I was in the shadows of someone or something, being as I'm a middle child. With Powell, it's nice seeing that something that I'm doing has gotten so much recognition and so much praise and people are so happy and supportive about it. Going to a few shows in Long Island recently, we won two trophies. They said my car name and then they said the plates, Pow Pow, and then I like squealed and I was like, oh wait, that's me, shit. Shirley B, Since I've always worked in the photo and advertising industry, I've always been exposed to people propping out furniture, houses, and sometimes classic cars. So that's where light bulb turned on in my head. And I thought, why not start propping out my car? With that said, I managed to get one of my clients to hire my car for their recent holiday campaign. I saw so much positive feedback from the car community especially. I started actually taking it more seriously and I'm going to start my venture called OnlyClassics.co where I'm going to start propping out my Nissan Pal as well as my two other cars. One of my newer clients too has a slogan, every day should feel this good and kept wanting to see what makes me feel that good and it happens to be this car. It's just nice waking up and knowing that I have a fun car to get into every day. Can't be miserable in her, you know? There's just like, this doesn't make sense.